Hello, today we will learn a step-by-step -step tutorial on Foodman WordPress plugin for seamless e-commerce online ordering. This is the interface of food menu. Here you are watching the actual price and discount price with the main menu. Also, in other food section like pizza, you can additionally choose some extra add-on with your main menu. Select any one of it and add to cart. For your time efficiency, there is mini card to have a quick view of your order. You can directly go for checkout from here. This is the checkout form and you will find two options to get your product delivery and pickup. If you go for pickup option, select pickup date with pickup type. Now fill up billing details with your information. For providing a tip, you will find here another option. This is your order description, what you have added so far. Then click on place to order. Instantly, it will show your order details with your order number, your payment method with total bill, email and date. These are the products what you have ordered. It will show the quantity with the extra items, amount of discount, main price, and down price. Besides, you will get the total bill. Same details are there with your next rest food item. Then the order type, which is pickup option, and then the pickup date and time. This is your subtotal payment, payment method, and lastly, the total bill. Now this is time to make sure to install and activate food menu free and pro version along with WooCommerce. So make sure you have installed first these three plugins. Now go to the food menu and then settings. In the general, you will get two food menu type, food menu post as a custom post and online ordering as a WooCommerce product. Here, I am selecting online ordering as WooCommerce product and save it. Now go to the products and all products. You have to add food item in the WooCommerce products for online ordering as online ordering work with WooCommerce. You can create food category and food location. Now go to the settings. If you want, you can make your own country wise currency, order type, into delivery or pickup, or you can select both. And you can also allow your food location. In the detail page settings, you can hide or show any option from this given criteria. Now, we will learn how to use Minikert in Food Menu plugin. Minikert is one of the top-notch feature of this plugin. I am showing you how it works. So, from the shop page, I am selecting several items and then go to the cart from my account. Now, back to the settings and enable Minikert button and save it and then automatically minicurt will be added with your shop page and it will show your order place you can change your minicurt position in the left center or bottom or right center or bottom save it and see the changes You can customize the button background into your desired color. Now you can also change button background hover color. This is the recent hover background and after changing the color, it turns into red. There are also several float button styles available. Pick any one and save it to see the changes. Now we will learn how to enable tipping in food menu plugin. For this, go to the tipping from food menu. Enable tip button. 
and select display T form from checkout page or cart page. I am choosing checkout page and save it. Go to the shop page and enter to the checkout page. Here, this is the option of your tip. Your tip could be fixed wise or percentage wise. It will depend on you. Now save it to display in your checkout form. Now see your find order invoice. Our main food item cost shows $60 and tip is so total bill comes out at 70. All right. Now see how to enable pickup and delivery option in food menu plugin. Go to the pickup and enable pickup button. Pickup time. Set your pickup message. Pickup time interval. Weekly schedule for your pickup with the starting time and ending time. And lastly, say to pick up weekly holiday. Save it. In the delivery, similar process and options are there to choose. So do the same here also. And save the changes. To see all these modifications, go to the checkout page and test for delivery and pickup. When you select pickup option, it will show your customized date and time. Same for the delivery option. Now we will learn how to use short code generator. Food menu plugin. For this, we need to go first to the short code generator from dashboard. Click add new post and get an interface of it. In the title box, add your title here as food menu. Now go to the filtering and select WooCommerce for food item data source. Then from the layout, choose any one from the grid and list view format. Scroll it down to see your layout type selection. This is field selection which presents what type of fields you want to keep from this list. Back to the layout and click on publish to update changes. On the top, copy the short code of it from here and go to the pages and to the food menu. Click on edit. Food menu is the title of it. Now click on it and select short code. Now paste that copied short code here and update it. Click on view page. To have a look once. Now go back your dashboard, food menu, and to the short code generator. Click on edit and in the layout type, select grid by category layouts, and you will see layout preview below. Then update it. Now go to your page and now displaying food menu by category based. You can change any layout in any time from this shortcut generator. And it looks like this. So save this layout to apply here 
and see the difference. Let's move to learn how to create product add-on in food menu plugin. Go to the product add-on, click add new group and click on this button. You will get several extra options to include categories. Select any one, for example, burger. Set your title like extra. And make options such as Pepsi, set price. Again, make another option like Coca Cola, set its price. Beer for next option. You can make more as per your demand. Save it. Now in the food menu, while you select burger 1, it will be displayed with discount price, extra add-ons and the total. Same for the other food menu. Now, go back to product add-on and click for adding group. For this, choose one category like pizza to include. Also can include menu items, type like checkbox, title as extra and make some options with prices such as vegetable, Extra cheese, crispy, and save this. Go to the shop page, then food menu, here's the pizza items. Click on it and get same option of your customization. Now let's see how to enable discount for food menu. For this, go to the setting of your dashboard, then discount. There are two discount types, percentage discount and total order discount. First part is percentage discount. Enter the percentage amount you want to discount. And you can include single food menu and food category. You can apply discount product and add on total amount you can set discount for total purchased amount from here now save it go to your food menu page and discount showing in the main product and while we select add-on discount to apply also for the add-on. Now click add to cart. Click on mini cart to see your cart items quickly and click on checkout. This is the final order invoice where you can see the discount, extra items, product and added price with the total and subtotal amount.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग